So we presented a fairly brief and by necessity um, sketchy uh, proposal. We've outlined five projects that we want to get started on this summer. Uh, as a board yesterday, we met and voted to negotiate a $500,000 loan to begin this work. We may not use all that money. We plan to be efficient and responsible stewards of both the church grounds and the program as well as the funds. Uh, we know that everybody has an interest in seeing this church succeed and um, we all want everybody's you know, input in any forum we can find. Uh, so there'll be plenty of opportunities for future discussion. Um, the uh, strategic uh, plan uh, committee, subcommittee of uh, Maryland Mass, uh, Sylvia Whitmer, and Jacob um, DeGraff are working diligently, they're meeting weekly, and they'll be coming up with a uh, strategic plan that incorporates both the programmatic needs of the church, as they are defined right now, as well as the building needs. And then we will assign the task of prioritizing these needs to a committee, uh, the board will, and we will be able to present to you at the winter annual meeting of the church a full plan on which you may vote and uh, hopefully approve. So at this point, um, I'd like to ask if there are any points of clarification. Remember, we're not looking for statements or recommendations. Those are for your index cards. But if you have something that we can clarify for you, I'll let you know if I can. If I can't, I'll let you know too. Frank, first. It's a little bit difficult to answer because really the how do you define being able to get five to seven thousand more in rent? Which which of the cap you know, was it was it the nicer entrance or the new tables for the bridge players or you know which which things went for? But a, a real a real chunk of it comes obviously from the energy savings. What, what, what was the cost of the improvements relative to the yeah, half a million dollars. Would you please tell us what you can't get a question? I, I'm sorry. Uh, he was asking what is the cost of the improvements that we would have to do in order to save uh, thirty dollars to $36,000 a year. And I didn't hear the question very well. And the answer is that that's that half a million dollar figure. Judy? Judy's asking if we can get some of this in writing. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're keeping it entirely a secret. Just trust us. Okay? <laughs> and leave us your credit card numbers. But actually, there'll be a couple things. First, I'm going to put the video of today's meeting on the BBC website. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we will make available the uh, plans from Johnson Hill Associates, uh, and there will be further information coming out of the newsletter and other forums. It's the best I can do for now. Okay. Carrie. you talk 
talk about the capital campaign, is this the only piece that will be a part of the capital campaign, or will be those things that are developed by the program council and identified as needs? They might change what the front of the church is, what the back of the church is, and how will that affect these things which seem like we're going to be starting to do next year. But we have, I, I even saw a bunch of people, when I said those words, change the footprint, go, heaven's murder. So like, that would require some some discussion. So is that going to be a part of the capital campaign, or is that going to be considered before we move forward with changing the, the landscape and the hardscape of the exterior? Can we, can we put that as a question? Another question, is yeah. that going to The question is, will we consider a wholesale replacement of part or all of the building? Is that correct? No, what I'm asking is, is what you've displayed here the only part that will be a part of the capital campaign? No. No, this will not be the entire capital campaign. Um, if it were, we'd be able to get it done in a very, very short time with relatively little money. No, this, this is actually uh, going to incorporate other parts that you and the three wise uh, women are working on right now. We want to see your needs met in whatever way we can. Are we going to start work on the front of the church before the other things are considered? The answer is yes. What are the what are the goals we're trying to achieve with this? What are the goals we are trying to achieve with this? We want to make our structure uh, safer, more functional, more efficient. We want to design a we want to have a uh, facility that will attract and not repel people. We also want to have a facility that will contain the ideas, uh, the uh, spirit that will attract people to us more than the structure does. So I'm being rather poetic and needlessly so, but there it is. Yes? I have two questions. Um, my first is, how, how do you uh, come up with that figure for the capital campaign? Um, the figure how, do, of the how do we come up with a figure? Just how do we come up with a ballpark figure? Yeah, because we haven't this is not a our, our our normal stewardship drives for years. I mean, and then we're coming up with a capital campaign. This. The question is, how can we possibly expect? Can I put this in different words? How can we possibly expect to get a capital campaign to succeed when we fall short of our stewardship? Well, the answer to that is, in the experience of most churches, is that they are very different things, and uh, a a stewardship campaign that uh, doesn't meet the needs, does not mean that there will be a capital campaign that doesn't. And furthermore, we've developed a method of financing that we think will be attractive to people who might otherwise not give it a capital campaign. So, I Do you mean that bond? Correct. That's right. I was wondering why we didn't just move to that step and skip the capital campaign. <laughs> I don't know how to financial. <coughs> there are good reasons. Yeah. And then the second question is, let's just say, we're wildly successful. We will be. Yes, I. I when we are, you say when we are wildly yeah, successful. Yeah, when we are wildly successful. Okay, so we have to think beyond yeah, this. Mm -hmm. And then my question would be, of course, is we grow, we need more bigger RV, we need another, we need an associate minister, we need maybe a RV minister. I mean, what, where does right. that discussion begin? Excellent question. Where do the program needs of the church fit into this? And again, I want to reiterate that what we're not presenting here is a fait accompli. We're presenting here part of an organism. We've only defined part of the organism. The other part is actually, in terms of program, being defined by uh, a variety of groups. And the considerations include internship, associate minister. They may not happen as part of this initial stage. They may not happen as part of the second stage. That really is up to the church to decide. But those are being considered. Uh, by, the pro by the strategic plan committee in conjunction with RE and program council. So. Um, earlier it was stated very, very quickly a few things that we want to get started on sooner rather than later. 
what wasn't clear to me is how those relate to what was classified as critical versus important versus desirable right. on the initial slide. I didn't see the relationship between those. And um, that maybe leads to a broader request for clarification clarification of what the prioritization process is. Right. So the question is why did we why did we decide to do the things we recommended doing or plan to do them in the order that they've done? And as a board, we chose to combine a blend of things we want with things we need. Um, and there are psychological and strategic reasons to do that, I think. Um, so for example, replacing the four-year roof, critical, it's going to be done. Front entrance, the front entrance is the way we, that's a handshake we give to the people who come to our church. I think it's important, we think it's important, and it's going to be done. Um, so that's the way. The prioritization is, again, something that we will be working on uh, with a, a committee after the strategic plan committee has presented the work. So for that, just all I can say is look, you know, keep your eyes on the space and give you more information as we can and be a part of it. Thank you. I would just like to add, uh, maybe, maybe I can add a point of clarification um, to address what may be questions in some people's minds. In the survey that we did earlier in the year regarding service and justice in our congregation, um, some of the comments made clear that people would like us to be sure that we're making investments in our outreach activities, uh, that we're making sure we're taking care of our campus and our space here, but that we're also holding true to our commitment to serve the broader community. And just to let you know, Eileen Benson, who's also here, and I are co-chairs of Service and Justice, and we are exploring um, some different possibilities for our congregation in terms of outreach. We don't have any specific capital needs right now, but there is a possibility for that as we uh, get a little further along in our exploration. So for anybody who might be wondering about that, that is also a possibility. And we'd love to hear from you on anything specific you may want to uh, input on that. Thank you, Mary Jo. One last question. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm surprised that we're borrowing so much money. I wonder what the cost, the estimated monthly cost would be. What the estimated monthly cost would be for the $500,000 loan. Well, that's not a new assumption in my head. Uh, the $30,000 $30, a year will support about $350,000, $30,000 a year in savings and additional contributions uh, from some of the efficiencies that we get and, and, uh, and uh, higher rent rates and so on and so forth. $30,000 will support about $350,000 in borrowing. So if we're talking about a half a million, we're talking about close to you know, 37, 38,000, 40,000, let's say in savings contribution. We're not far off with the list that we have there from a half a million. From being able to support a half a million. His goal is to not take anything out of our current budget, to not take funds away from the current operating budget. You have to kind of think of things in two ways. One is, does it have a 15-year life that we're investing in that should be capitalized to be part of a capital campaign? If it's coming out of the, the, the individual budget, that should be the current budget. I don't know if I answered the question correctly. No? What's the, uh, how much do we have to pay to, to the bank per month for the $500,000 for interest? Um, I don't know if that's a Somewhere, or if we did 500000 at 4% over 15 years, it would be about $3,500 a month. Discounted by the savings, correct. Oh, the interest? I can't give you the interest. Oh, it would be about 40% of the amount of power. It would be about $180,000, $200,000 over, over 15 years. But we'd be paying it off. Yeah, that includes the principal. I had nothing the last several times during the day, but I've taken it down. I came in this meeting feeling very positive. I still feel positive. However, when you say $30,000 in savings, 
you are counting five to seven thousand dollars in increased rentals, which may or may not happen. And the lighting and all of those savings, those are things that are going to happen for at least a year, two, three, four. You're not going to get the underground H back in. You're not going to have the rentals hop up because we haven't replaced those things. You're not going to have the light. So you're talking about $30,000 or $35,000, which is a tiny bit misleading if you're looking at the first three or four years. And I just think that's really important because I think this is how we've gotten in trouble in the past. We've said we're going to increase our rentals by $20,000 next year. We increased it by eight. And that's how we've gotten in trouble. And so I wish that that would be a little more clarifying when we talk about savings versus what we're costing. Thank you for your comment. And with that, I'd like to say thank you. And please watch this space. Please be a part of the process. Have a great Father's Day.